How you doing today? My name is Jeff Ray, featured guest host here with Weld.com. Back up in the lab. Today I'm going to take you through the cleaning of stainless steel process tubing. I'm going to show you a number of different ways that you can clean your stainless steel tubing. So let's get at it. What we have here are a couple of different items that I utilize to clean my stainless tubing with. Everyone knows this one, stainless steel wire brush. Never to cross contaminate this with any carbon steel. Make sure you note stainless steel on your wire brush. We also have the 3M paint stripping wheel. I find this to work the best for me. You chuck this up in a drill, it works really nice. As well as the 3M Scotch-Brite gray buffing wheel. This one puts a nice shine on it. It doesn't give it as much as a brush finish as the paint stripping wheel does. I like more of the brush look in the tubing. And then to finish it off, I top it off with some red Scotch-Brite. So we got the piece chucked up in the bench here now. I got it sectioned off in three different quadrants, how we're gonna be cleaning it so we can compare this. I'm gonna go ahead and start with our stainless steel wire brush. This application works best when the piece is hot, I will say, to taking the heat marks off of there. So just brush strokes, straight back, always go around the tubing. That's the way the grain is always gonna go, never this way with the pipe. I've seen people grab Scotch-Brite and scuff it this way and it's, it's hard to get that mess look out of there. So we're just going to do forward and back strokes with this here. Now when doing this, I don't usually use the brush straight up and down. I usually use it on an angle. That's how I've seen like the edge of the bristles clean better. Like I said, when this stuff is hot, it cleans a lot better. but got to show you sometimes the welds cool you might go to lunch come back and then clean your weld um, you never know so you see cleans up all right not that good a few spots it cleans better than others but I'm gonna get the gray wheel set up here and uh, show you how that cleans now we got the 3m gray scotch bright wheel on the straight die grinder now this one's a bit overkill real heavy duty one we got here but it'll do the job same thing around the pipe with the grain this way all right as you can see the gray wheel does an awesome job at polishing this stuff out like i said I still like that brush look in there. We're going to finish all these off with the Scotch-Brite in the end. But uh, you can also utilize this gray wheel to clean the inside of the weld too. It works really nice to, if you got a little discoloring in there you don't like, you know, and you're able to access it and clean it out, by all means, go ahead and get it out of there. So you can use this on the inside as well. Be sure, do not cross-contaminate. Be careful where you put this thing and what you put it against or clean with it. I mark all my stuff with stars, SS, whatever it may be. Carbon steel, aluminum, stainless steel, titanium, mark everything. We got the 3M paint stripper abrasive wheel on the high speed drill here. It works well for prepping surfaces that have paint, rust, stuff like that on there. Same thing. This one's only going to be used for stainless steel though, so note it. I like using this one because it leaves a nice brush look to it. Like I said, when we use that red Scotch-Brite, it's gonna make it easier to blend where I clean to the, the existing pipe here. So give it a nice look. So let's go ahead and get this, this cleaned out. All right, it cleans up real nice. Like I said, these I love this wheel. It does a lot of different things. I've been using the crap out of it lately. And thanks to Como caps, keeping these caps on my head, I've been doing a lot of migging overhead and prepping with these things lately. They've really kept my head clean, comfortable, and not getting burned up or down my neck. So uh, I'd like to give them a shout out for these. Thank you guys. Uh, now, what we're gonna do is I'll show you the comparison of all three of these before we go ahead and scotch bright them out. So as you see here, this is how the wire brush came out. 
It does a decent job when the material is warm, like I said. It doesn't like to clean as good when it's cold. Still nice though. Coming into the gray wheel, you can see it gives it a lot more polished look to it. It's nice, real nice actually. And then our paint stripper wheel, you can see the brush look to it and that's gonna allow us to blend this really nice with the red scotch bright here. So you can see the comparison between the polish, the brush, and the wire brush. All right, <clears throat> we got them all cleaned up here with the Scotch-Brite. Like I said, these are just some of the processes that I use to clean my welds. Let us know what works for you guys. There's an abundance of different ways you guys can clean your welds. Thank you for being connected with us and supporting us with weld.com and being part of the welding community. We'll see you next time.